Hello, Internet. Um, well, as mentioned in the last Tigra video, um, I did say one of the last mechanical jobs I've got to do is the back brakes. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, it was supposed to be sunny, but there's a lot of um, clouds right. in the sky. So, um, yeah, it's cold and it's overcast. So, oh, well, it's not raining. So let's get on with it. First job then, wheel that's off. Special wheelie nut thing in there. And this is a 17 mil. So if you're taking your wheel off, you need a 17 mil. Don't need a long reach, you just need a 17 mil stocket. Right, plastic caps, literally. Yeah, I'm gonna say literally, because these aren't easy to get off. You have got a tool for these. Comes in the original ooh, tool kit, but I haven't got that a little plastic gripper thing, but you can pull them out by hand and then your bolts behind there. Right, let's get them off. Actually, along those pliers works better. <laughs> so, the easiest way to jack it up is at the back end here. It is a, it's a weird arrangement. It's a floating axle, so uh, it's not independent all the way across. So the easiest way to do it is jack up somewhere around ooh, that point there. Nice and solid. But of course, if you're gonna do that, Remember your handbrake binds the back wheels. Yeah, I know some of you are going, yeah, I know this, but some people don't. So there. <laughs> but um, yeah, chock up your front wheels and put it in gear as well. But do remember to take it out of gear before you try and start it up. Right, waffle over. Let's get jacking. Jack, 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 jack. Whizzy, whizzy, let's get busy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so as the fronts, it's a bit crusty in here, but um, to be honest, it's all surface rust. Again, where it's been standing. So that'll rub off, not a problem. Um, everything is, as you can see, rock solid. It's just, yeah, literally it's just been standing, and that's what's done it. Right, let's get on with this. So as before, the disc isn't that bad. It just looks a lot worse than what it is. It's crusty. And um, that's just where it's been standing over the last couple of days because it's rained constantly. Um, but yeah, everything is, well, it's okay. Handbrake seems to work all okay. Um, what we're going to do first of all though, give it a few love taps. Oh yeah, say that again. Give it a few love taps, just to loosen things off of it. And uh, I'm going to drop the caliper off, make sure everything's all okay. No wheel bearing issues, anything crazy like that. And then um, put new pads in. So I'll give it a little bit of a squirt down all around here with the old WD stuff. Just, um, yeah, just take that surface rust off. Um, as I mentioned on the fronts, and it's the same with the backs, the calipers don't look that old. Um, again, the screw in there is pretty good. The brake discs don't look, well, they won't look that bad once they've been cleaned up. But yeah, everything... Um, Everything looks okay, newish. So again, two bolts at the back. Uh, obviously the slide in there that was stuck on the front, on actually this side last time. So uh, we've got a 13 mil. What I'm gonna have to do with this one though is grab that. And I think that's a 14 mil. Let me just, let me just go out of focus slightly and mess about. Yeah, that's 16, oh, try 17. Um, Hold on a sec, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Yeah, so what it was, was the spanner I never actually brought over with me. <laughs> 17 mil. Uh, right, I'm going to need two hands for this. And there you go. One bolt out. So 13 on that side. 17 for the gripper. Uh, the slide. Certainly for that one. Oh, look. <laughs> You're not in shot. Silly boy. Uh, yeah, slide certainly on this one. Pretty good. There you go, the second bolt. Right, just there. That's all you need, take those two out. There you go, so, second one there at the bottom there. Now, the reason I tap this first of all with a hammer, um, and don't worry, you won't break it, is because these uh, have manual adjusters and they don't go back automatically. At least I don't think they do. <laughs> it could prove me wrong in a minute. So you need to loosen them off a bit, as they will not pop out. Right, I'm gonna get something to support that because I don't wanna put any weight on the, uh, on the induction pipe again. Looks new. Um, just to hang it out the way, and, uh, and we'll take it off. All right, so little wiggle, wiggle, and there you go. That's all it is. 
wiggle it off, everything's fine. Um, there's the star drive in there, and again, you're gonna have to wind that back manually. It's on a screw, and as it uh, uses the brakes or they go down, uh, that comes out and self adjusts. So that needs to be screwed back in. Uh, I mean, to go in, if I remember rightly, it's clockwise. But we will just see in time. Yes, wish well. What? <laughs> but for now, safely hung out the way. So you can see what I'm saying about the pads being in a, a long time <laughs> and there's not much meat left on them. Yeah, they're well past their sale by date. Um, but everything else looks pretty good. Uh, again, you've got a stainless steel holder on the bottom there. And uh, yeah, the sliders on this side anyway. Pretty good. Yeah, if you remember what I was saying about grease before, I really don't like it when people grease the bottom of the pads. I know some people say it helps, blah, blah, blah. It's just me. I don't like it because this is a sort of gunk you end up with and it just binds them up, to be honest. It doesn't, I don't think it helps. Uh, they're stainless steel just here. Um, I'll say, give that a rub. There you go, there's stainless steel under there. And as long as it's rubbing against that, it's going to move. Anyway, that's my rant. That's not a rant, is it? It's just what I do. Now, before I go any further, just better check these fit. Look at this. Look, name brand. I don't even know they're a name brand. They look good, obviously, but you don't get much in the pack. You certainly don't get as much as the cheapy ones I bought for the front. Um, the bolts, to be honest, nothing like the originals. Um, you've got the guides there, which serve no purpose whatsoever. Um, yeah, they're brake pads. <laughs> what else can I say? It fits! It fits! Right, time to get the whizzy wheel out again. There you go, things have had a bit of a clean up. Even the uh, brake colour pad again, doesn't look that bad. Right, I need to now get that piston wound back in again. Bear with. And out comes my trusty old caliper tool again. There you go, it's got two pins there which should fit into a slot somewhere on there. It's a little bit bigger than what I need, but eh, we'll make it work. I think it's for an Audi. I think it's for an old Audi 80, but it's worked well for everything I've done. Right, let's, uh, let's get this wound in. There you go, it kind of fits. Right, um, I'd like to show you this, but I can't. Basically, it's just winding it back in again. Uh, as I say, wind it clockwise. You can do this with a pair of grits, but you, know, you could damage that. Uh, dust seal and then you're just going to get crap in there and it's going to seize up so do it properly well it's never an easy job but of uh, a good lashing of uh, wd-40 especially inside that seal there and uh, some persistence usually gets it back and that i think is about far enough now to um, slip it over those new pads right didn't need a tab more um it was a bit tight when i put it in uh, you want there to be a little bit of free play on there because what happens in time is that will self-adjust again back to where it needs to be if you put it in too tight you're going to wear your pads down um, prematurely so you don't want to do that right um, yeah I can't really show you how this works and I wish I could because it's, it's a good little tool that's better like I say you want them to, to be snug on there but you don't want them to be binding as you can see oops <laughs> you could if I could point the camera in the right direction as you can see there you go there's a bit of fleet play on there. Right, um, yeah, let's get it back together. Yeah, I'm going to use some thread locker and the uh, the old bolts as well. Nothing wrong with the old bolts. Um, I don't like the new ones. They look really cheap and nasty to me. Bit of the thread lock. Twisty, twisty. And then the point where you need <laughs> two hands. So one thing I found out purely by accident, um, and I've never seen this before, when you put the brake pads in, that peg on the back there has to fit into one of these slots. Uh, I guess it kind of makes sense because it stops that turning and um, messing up the uh, adjustment system. But yeah, I tried to put it in and it was uh, that was there and it wouldn't let me put it in. So yeah, when you're putting these back, if they don't fit, you need a gap for that very bizarre yeah that kind of caught me out a little bit um it kind of makes sense but yeah still caught me out um right so there you go that's back on again <sighs> sounds lovely doesn't it um again the caliper has got some play in it it turns around nice and freely um let's operate the 
handbrake. Let's see if I can do this. Hey, <laughs> just trap you down there. There you go. So the handbrake works fine as well. Um, right, bolt this back together and let's get on the other side. It's amazing what you find when you start digging around. This happened on the Weiss car, exactly the same place, exactly the same bracket. Yeah, I've just made a, a new bracket for the exhaust hanger because uh, basically it rotted away, made the uh, exhaust a little bit more secure. So I'm just looking around. <laughs> right, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking a lot better now. A uh, little bit of fettling, a little bit of bending, and it'll be spot on. Excellent. There you go. Another job done. And the wheel's back on again. There you go. All right, let's get her on the ground. Get her talked up. And time to rinse and repeat. Uh, same sort of story here. A lot of surface rust, but nothing to worry about. All right, let's get this done. Now and again, the bolts come out pretty easy. Oh, see even that new coil springs on the back. Look at that. Um, yep, so there you go. Little wheel, little wheel, and it comes out. Perfect, right, again, need to put that slide back in, change the pads, do the usual stuff. Nice to see this side as well. The sliders are all good. Excellent. Now the question is, can I get you in the position where you can see how the tool works? Let me try. All right, there you go. Ooh. See what's happening? As I move the top pin around, it's twisting it and it's pushing it in. Good, good set. Look, makes nice, light, easy work of it. Just take your time and it'll go. And there you go, backed off very easily. There you go, cleaned up. No real lips to speak of. Uh, again, if they were rubbish, I'd change them, but they're, they're not that old. Um, also remembering that, uh, yeah, we need that in place to go around the pad. <laughs> Escaliper don't fit. We are learning. We're learning. There you go. Slightly straight in that time. That's <laughs> easy when you know how. Uh, there you go. One bolt in there. Like so. Get in there. And a bit of Loctite and the other one on the top. Tighten them up. There you go. All in. All bolted up. Nice and free at the moment. But obviously won't be once we uh, get it adjusted. Right. Um, a little bit of future proofing. Um, I wasn't too happy with that mating point there. It's got some surface rust. So we'll give that a little bit of under seal just to give it a bit of longevity. Um, that's only the worst bit I saw really. I can see all these bungs at some point have had cavity wax put in them. Um, and that's why obviously this is so solid. It is full of cavity wax. So whoever's going to get this car in the future, they're going to get a good one, I think. There you go, some of the good stuff. Keep the rust at bay. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. All done. Back on the ground again. Um, not too big a job. Um, wasn't too much of a pain in the backside, which is good. Um, the only pain in the backside bit now is, um, yeah, tidying up. What a mess. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Back on the ground. All the little jobs done. Just needs a bit of a clean up now. Uh, on a few sunny days, it'd be nice, so we can have some shut up, loving birds. Yeah, a few sunny days that so we can have some fun. And then she's gone. And uh, I'll be on the look for the next project car. It's been fun, this one. It's been a damn challenge, I can assure you of that. But it's been fun, and it's not a bad little car now. Um, yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> I forgot how much fun these little things are. But uh, yeah, the Weiss one, we got rid of that. My God, must have been about almost 10 years ago now. Um, she loved it. Um, but, you yeah, know, time to move on. Um, i say this has been a challenge and it has been fun. But it's all fixed now. Everything works. Everything's as I'd expect it to be. And I'm happy. So, um, yeah, on the lookout now for the next one. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Catch you later. Bye-bye.